In this video, let's try to understand a computer program. No matter which language you work with, whether it is JavaScript or Java or Python, a computer program is essentially like a recipe. We've all seen recipes, right? Here's the easiest one from a website called simplyrecipes.com. This one's for a perfect lemonade. We all love lemonade. So let's see what we have here. First, you heat some water and stir in sugar until it dissolves completely. Then you juice the lemons and then mix the two in a proportion and add some cold water. The last step calls for chilling and serving the lemonade. One of the first things to notice here are the ingredients. Without the ingredients, there won't be any lemonade to prepare. So the recipe needs these items to work. In a computer program, that is the data that you must provide for the program to process and give back a result. Next up are the order of steps. If you do not follow this order, you may not get the result you need. For instance, if you try to dissolve sugar without heating the water first, it may not dissolve properly. Likewise, if you chill and serve before you juice the lemons, well, you've just served cold and sweet water, not lemonade. So the right order is critical in a recipe and in a computer program. It is also important to note that individual steps may not mean anything in isolation. For instance, the step juice the lemons will lead you to a tumbler or a jar full of lemon juice. But why would you do that unless you want to put that juice to good use? Likewise, chill and serve means nothing in isolation. Therefore, context is very important when talking about recipes or computer programs. So every step must be in the right place in the sequence and there should be a reason why a step is where it is so that collectively the recipe or your computer program yields a meaningful outcome. Now, individual steps in a recipe might involve their own sequence of steps or sub-steps. For instance, the step heat some water might entail filling up a pot of water, turning on the stove and placing the pot on the stove. In a similar vein, juicing lemons might involve getting lemons from the vegetable basket and if not from a supermarket, getting the lemon squeezer, chopping the lemon in halves, getting a jar or a tumbler, squeezing the lemon juice into the tumbler and throwing the seeds away. And that's how real programs are built too. You write code in a modular fashion and then put it all together so it works correctly. We'll dig into this aspect later. To summarize, a computer program is like a recipe which follows a well-defined and orderly sequence of steps to achieve its task. Now, how do we write our computer programs? Well, we do that using a high-level language such as Java, Python, JavaScript, C++ and others. But what we write is known as source code. This is the human readable program written as plain text and in English that developers build, which ultimately becomes machine code and is executed by the computer. Most of the languages have a set of constructs and features that are similar and we'll dig into these later. Computer programming can be a very rewarding career, both intellectually and financially. If you're ready to embark on a journey of rapid career growth, there's no better way to get started than to start building solid programming skills and no better place to begin than at Knowledge Hub. With our outcome-based immersive learning approach, you're fundamentally disrupting the way new age technologies are learned. You'll get to learn, practice, assess, gain insights on your learning and personalize your learning journey on our easy to navigate AI powered skill building platform PRISM. Stay tuned for more such videos and explore more about how you can equip yourself with immediately demonstrable in-demand skills that will help you get job ready. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.